Hello, welcome to another video about regular expressions. Um, okay, so in this video, what I want to do is talk about a whole bunch of specific meta characters that you can use in a regular expression. Now, I should note that there are what's commonly referred to as different flavors of regular expressions. So depending on the context that you're using the regular expression, like the Atom editor, or I'm using a regular expression in my JavaScript program, or in my Python program, there will be subtle differences in how the meta character, in, in what the meta characters are. So I'm, I'm kind of using, I'm using for lack of a better, uh, I'm using the meta characters that work in JavaScript. Um, I'm using the JavaScript flavor. <laughs> I think it might taste a little like blueberries um, uh, um, uh, in, uh, uh, for the, these regular expression videos. So what I want to do is uh, just sort of talk through more in order in sequence um, what some meta characters are. So just to remind you, we have this idea of literal characters. Like I want to match literally the character A. And we have this idea of meta characters. I want to match a, 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 a uh, any character of this kind, so to speak. So um, I'm gonna, in this particular video, there's more than just this, and I'm not obviously not gonna get to everything completely. I wanna look at um, single character, meta characters, something called a quantifier, and something called a position. And <laughs> I've just realized I can't remember which is which, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what some of these are, and then I'm gonna quickly check the chat that's going on because it's being recorded live, even though you might not be watching it live, and I'll see if I got it right. But I might get these wrong. I might get a lot of stuff wrong, but anyway. And I obviously won't list every single meta character, but I will provide you in the, in the video's description with links to where you can find more stuff out about this. So we saw, by the way, that slash D is a meta character that indicates any digit, any value, any character 0 through 9, okay? Slash, backslash D. And so one thing you'll notice is some meta characters are indicated because just D is a literal character. So just D is a literal character, backslash is uh, indicating that I want the meta character D for digit. Here's another one that's really useful. Backslash W, lowercase w, that's very important, is any character capital A through Z lowercase a through z, and 0 through 9. The w stands for word. So in essence, this is any character that you might find as part of a word, any letter or number. Backslash s, any white space. What could this match? This could match a space, a tab, a space or a tab, <laughs> probably some other things too. Anything that's white space. I'm not including line break here, even though it can match a line break, but whether or not a regular expression will match across different lines is a bit of a strange thing. So yeah, um, and, and involves a, a flag, a setting that you have to set um, in how you use a regular expression. I'll get to that later when I talk about flags. Um, what are some other ones? Uh, another meta character that's very key is, and I talked about this in the previous video, is dot. This matches any character whatsoever. Any character whatsoever. I don't know if that is in the technical description of regular expressions, the word whatsoever, but I, I just want to emphasize it. So this is kind of a strange one to use, and you've got to be very careful, because it's, there's this concept that I'll get to later of this greedy regular expression that just, <laughs> it can't, so whoa, hey, I just got like three, po three pointer of there, it landed in this little box. Um, it just can't stop eating and matching and matching, dot, 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 match everything. So, okay. Um, all right, now an interesting thing about these particular characters, slash d, slash w, slash s, is these are lowercase. And if you are, and I, I guess I'm gonna kind of like take up, if you, if you use slash capital W or slash capital S, this means anything that's not a word character. Anything that's not one of these characters, or anything that's not white space. And this can be very useful. I want to match any non-white space character. So um, that's one thing I think I'll mention. And I, I don't I would assume, actually I don't know that this, <laughs> I'd have to check this. If you do backslash capital D, is that anything that's not a digit? I would think so. So that's, so these are, um, I, um, these are I think some key single characters for you to look at. Let's, let's actually go and, um, come over here and like type some of these in and see what happens. Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna type in slash w, and uh, you can see that matches everything. What if I just look for uh, three 
any sequence of three characters in a row. And you can see the sort of strange thing that's going on here. Because it matched the T-H-E, it doesn't match the H-E-S because H-E is already part of this match. If you want to match both of those, you're going to have to do some other kind of acrobatics to do that. But you'll notice how, uh, how that sort of works. It matches the S-O-M, but not the O-M-E. But I could add a fourth one, and we could see, hey, here are all, um, um, here are any sequence of four word characters in a row. Uh, here is a digit followed by a word character, followed by a digit, followed by a word character. And by the way, that matches these, but it would also match if I put this in here, or if I put this in here. You can see how we can use these single character meta characters to make generic matches. Now, there isn't a ton that we can do just by knowing these, but I would like to just see how the white space works very briefly. Uh, here is me matching all white space. You can see I've matched all white space, or this is matching only two white space in a row, and you can see, ah, oh no, I, I think I put two spaces after my period. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I found sound effect horrible failure there. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, so now, by the way, I found anywhere in my. This is this is how you, by the way, can get rid of all of your two spaces after a period, which I believe I really should be putting one space after a period, according to something I saw on the internet at one time. Anyway, okay, so let's come back over here, and you can see that um, something that I've been doing a lot is I've been saying oh, I want to match three word characters in a row, or three digit characters in a row. So this, by the way, is where quantifiers come in. So quantifiers are a meta characters that modify the previous character in the regular expression and say how many of those things you want to match in a row. We saw that asterisk, or star, is zero or more. Uh, plus is one or more, so at least one. Uh, question mark is zero or one, so is like optional. And then you can also use curly brackets with minimum, comma, maximum, or just a single number n. So these are, at least in my head, I might be missing one. These are the basic quantifiers. So we can match single characters and we can quantify those single characters how many in a row to match. So let's go back over here and come back to this and I can say, for example, I want to find all five letter words. See this regular expression? I want to find all five letter words in my text. And you can see, there we go. Now, <laughs> this didn't really work. Why? Because it matched this. Because it's just matching five word characters in a row. So how could I say five letter words? Well, one way I could do it is all five letter words, all sequence of, of, of five characters followed by a white space. Now you can see, ah, oh, I got this because it's followed by white space, which is at the end. Mm, that's no good. So I could also say it has to be white space followed by five letters, followed by white space. Oh, but these doesn't have white space in the beginning. So this, I'm, I'm leading to something that I'm going to show you. Um, there's, a, there's, some, there's, there's a really nice way you can look for uh, uh, words of certain length or words that match certain properties. But I can see here how I can, this is a way of matching, whoops, at one or more word characters in a row. Um, we can see how I could say uh, a word character followed by one or more digits, uh, which again, uh, you can see what that matches. Um, so these are ways that you can quantify it. And let's, let's, um, let me show you, uh, let's, let's, let's say I want to match the word color. So um, uh, the colors of the rainbow have many colors and the rainbow does not have a single color. So, uh, so look, this is now, I want to match any time the word color, spelled C-O-L-O-U-R, or colors, or any time the word color or colors appears, color singular or plural, as spelled O or spelled O-U. Let's look at how I would do that. So if my regular expression is just color, you can see what I match. So I could say color with an optional U, right, like that, and with an optional S. So look at this. This regular expression is match C, literally C, followed by zero, followed by L, followed by, not zero. <laughs> I, couldn't, I could have it be also or zero. C, followed by O, followed by L, followed by O, followed by U, optionally, followed by R, followed by S, 
optionally. Okay, so you can see here how these quantifiers can be quite useful. Okay, let me come back over here. So these are, uh, where's, my, where's my whiteboard marker? Here it is. So these are quantifiers. These are ways of indicating how many of a single um, character you want to use. Now, position is another kind of meta character which matches um, the position of a character in the string itself. So, for example, there is uh, caret, which means the beginning of a line, I think, and dollar sign, which means the end. And um, also, um, I'm going to put these in position uh, meta characters, uh, slash b, which is known as a word boundary. So these are position meta characters, which can also be incredibly useful. Let's look at um, some scenarios where these can be useful. Oop, <laughs> I rang the bell. OK, um, so let me come back over here, and I'm going to type some text for you. Um, this is a sequence of words, color, um, hello, goodbye. Go. So what I want to match um, right, uh, So what I want to do is match all the words that are at the beginning of a line. So for example, if I do slash w plus, you can see how I'm matching all the words here. This is something is about a blah sequence of words, hello and goodbye. What if, however, I say, hat. Now you can see I'm saying that hat is a position. Let me, let me show you that again. Hat, carrot, something like that. That is a position, uh, uh, a meta character, meaning the beginning of a line followed by one or more word characters. So look what I've been able to match now. Now what I could do is also put end of a line. Now I didn't get anything. What if I take out the carrot? You can see I'm getting all the words that are at the end of the line. Notice how I don't get rainbow because of the punctuation mark. So I'd have to do something about that if I wanted to match that. But what if I wanted to match only single words, lines that have one word? So now I could say match caret followed by any sequence of word characters followed by end, end of line. So you can see now that regular expression matches only words and single because if they're the only lines that start and end with a sequence of word characters. So you can see how those position meta characters could be particularly useful depending on what you're doing. Now, another is word boundary. And remember this problem I was having where, okay, well this matches all of the, um, um, but what if I want to match, sorry, what if I wanted to match only all four letter words. So you can see this isn't exactly working because I'm getting N-U-M-B. Numbers is actually a seven letter word, but these are four word characters in a row. So something I can do is I can say slash B, a word boundary, followed by four word characters, followed by slash B. And so now you can see this is, now look what it's getting. Sum is a four-letter word. Call is a four-letter word. Now, look at these. A period is also in between. Now, now I'm saying this is a position meta character because it's not matching the thing after it. It's matching this weird space, the space in between the, whoa, the space, ha, <laughs> the space in between the T and the period. It's a position, the boundary between a word. And so um, this is something that different implementations will do slightly differently depending on what environment or context you're in. But it really means, you know, arguably, the space in between a, a word and it, where it ends. So you can see if I change this to, um, let's see, anything between four comma six. Now I've matched all words between the, uh, between uh, four and six characters. So hopefully this runs you through, um, this runs you through uh, the basics of what kinds of single character meta characters. You can match a digit, any letter or number. I can match any white space. I can match any character. You might be asking yourself, well, what if I want to match only letters? So we need something called a character class for that, which I'm going to show you in a different video. Uh, quantifiers, which which modify how many of these in a row and position, like the beginning of a line, the end of a line, or the space between 
a character and another character at the beginning or end of a word. Um, and so if I'm continuing with this thread, let's see now if we can match phone numbers. I want to match slash D, three digits, followed by a dash, followed by three digits, followed by a dash, followed by four digits. Uh, whoops. So I'm starting now. This is now my right of expression on the way to matching all phone numbers. And you can see what well, only matched that one. Why did it only match that one? Because I'm saying it has to be a dash. How would I say a dash or a period? And we need another concept called character classes for that, which I also just mentioned, which I'll cover in the next uh, video. Okay, thanks for uh, tuning in, and uh, hopefully this is helping you get a sense of regular expressions, and I'll see you maybe in the next video.